Okay, so let's get into it. I'm gonna talk to y'all about that clone Tyrone. I seen it last night. Um, yeah. You know what? It's so crazy that everything is coming into the forefront right now. But I believe a lot of that has to do with uh, the powers that be. Um, they're, they know that their time is up at this point. We are in the age of Aquarius, you know, the light barrier. So everything is being exposed. Everything is coming to the forefront. And what's happening is they are putting, if you want to know the truth about something, just go watch a movie. Go watch some of these videos. Go watch television because everything that they tell you is fictional. It's really non-fictional. It's always some, some truth in it. They get the imagination from somewhere. You got to believe that. Okay. So, um, they clone Tyrone. Do y'all know how long I've been talking about cloning centers and um, underground bunkers, shit like that? I've been talking about that stuff for years now. It's been a long time. And the thing is, it's like um, people are so naive because they feel like everything has to be in front of them in order for them to believe it. But nothing has to be, you know, it's like a lot of things are put in front of us, but we choose not to see them. Okay, they've been giving us signs in movies for a long time. They had a movie called Six Cents that came out in the 90s, and it was telling you about basically the unseen, you know, that realm that we can't see, the third eye, the intuition. And a lot of people didn't pay that movie no mind. It was just another scary movie to them, okay? We got shit like Men in Black where they telling y'all <laughs> we ain't the only ones here. But again, y'all just choose, you choose to believe and see what you want to. So that's why you lack when it comes to uh, things of this nature. They just put out a movie about human trafficking. How many, how many times, <laughs> how many times have we seen in history people go missing? Hundreds and thousands of people go missing every year around the same time. Yes. Okay, so anyway, I was in the middle of making a video. My son came in and yeah, I had to start off for I'm back. So uh, back to what I was saying. So how many times have we seen um, the production companies put the truth inside of movies? They'll tell you that it's not real, but in actuality, it is. Okay, so in They Clone Tyrone, y'all. If y'all ain't seen it, y'all gotta go watch it. Why come every time they make these type of deep movies, it's always about black people? Y'all don't understand that the joke is on us. It's all about us. It's all about us. Okay? In the movie, you have and yeah, I'm about to I'm about to tell some of the movie and speak on some of the movie because I truly believe a lot of y'all already saw the movie. But y'all don't take things into the proper perception it's like y'all just watching it and you just you just be entertained you're not taking in the hints and the clues of what they're really trying to tell us like i was saying back to the cloning centers like this has been going on since like the 40s this is nothing new um ai is not new uh the phones none of this shit is new it's new to us but it's been around for a very very long time Okay, so Jamie Foxx was just brilliant enough to actually expose what's been going on for a long time. Now, so they have, um, it's so ironic that you have all these main characters. You have the pastor, 
you have a drug dealer, you have the strip club where, you know, it, some things take place at, you have uh, a pimp. It's like all these characters in the movie that basically like were hood leaders because that's what they are. I mean, people grow up looking, I mean, as a young person, you grow up and these are your mentors if you stay in the hood. You don't have anybody to look up to, but maybe a drug dealer, um, uh, a pastor, a pimp, you know, some stripper hoes. It's like, this is the cycle that's going on in the hood. They don't have anybody else to look up to. And in this movie, they show you how it, how it's all an agenda. Okay, like the main people that had the influence inside the neighborhood, those were the clones. Those were the NPCs. Those were the people that had, you know, the, the neighborhood looking up to them. And they were all being misled. Okay. They they were all, you know, on the wrong path. But again, these are the people that you look up to inside these neighborhoods. Then you had the fried chicken. Y'all, it remind me of church's chicken or Popeye's when that damn sandwich came out. People lined up around the corner. And another thing was when they were making the chicken, it's like some type of white substance that made them laugh. It wasn't crack, but it might have, it, it should have been crack. But it's like every time that they would take this white substance, they would get really goofy. It's like they their, their mind would be off of the day-to-day -day issues that they were having. It's like they weren't able to focus. Every time that they would think about something, it's either they were eating at the, at the damn chicken place and it's like everybody in the restaurant laughing. It's like, y'all was just talking about something serious. You was just talking about getting your life together and now all of a sudden, you laughing. You ain't even thinking about your life no more because you didn't inhale this MSG. It probably was MSG. You didn't inhale this chicken with this white substance on it. Now all of a sudden, you the hell with my problems. And another thing was they were also doing it inside the beauty salon. Like the lady was getting her hair done and the white substance powder was in uh, her perm. And she began to forget her problems. She didn't even know, she didn't even remember what she was talking about anymore. Y'all remember when um, Dick Gregory came out and he was talking about thyroid cancer came from perms? Black women get perms, okay? That's where it's coming from. Perms, hair straighteners. They put, Jamie Foxx <laughs> put so much truth in this movie and I heard that he produced it himself. They had to take him out. Do I believe that that new, that's him? No, I don't. I understand people get sick, but he looks like a totally different person. I do not believe that that's Jamie Foxx. It is what it is. Y'all have y'all opinions. I got mine. I don't believe that that's him. I mean, just look at it this way. Ironically, he just put out a movie about Cloney. And all of a sudden, he comes out and he looks like a totally different person. Y'all believe what y'all want to believe. Okay? And I'm going to believe what I want to believe. But, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the elites know that their time is getting cut, cut short. So they want to push as much as they can onto this generation. And a lot of us are fighting back, but then a lot of us will remain sweet. And that's just what it is. Everybody can't get saved. Everybody can't come. Sorry to tell you. But for those of you who can see what's going on, continue to see. Continue to open up your third eye. Okay?
okay? Continue to, um, continue to dive deeper in your knowledge, okay? Because once you go down one rabbit hole, there's an entryway to another one, and there's an entryway to another one when you get past that one. This is a never ending cycle. There's been so much that has been covered up. You will die <laughs> trying to figure out where this trail stops because it doesn't. We've been lied to our whole lives, our entire lives, especially black people, especially us. This is this has been the experiment with us the whole time. But that's my assessment. I'm gonna holler at y'all in a minute. Y'all be easy, family. <laughs>